Chazon chapter 21 And I saw a renewed heaven and a renewed earth, for the former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea is no more. And I, Yohanan, saw the set-apart city, renewed Jerusalem, coming down out of the heaven from Elohim, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the heaven, saying, See, the booth of Elohim is with men, and he shall dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and Elohim himself shall be with them, and be their Elohim. And Elohim shall wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, nor mourning, nor crying, and there shall be no more pain, for the former matters have passed away. And he who was sitting on the throne said, See, I make all matters new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and trustworthy. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Aleph and the Tav, the beginning and the end. To the one who thirsts I shall give of the fountain of the water of life without payment. The one who overcomes shall inherit all this, and I shall be his Elohim, and he shall be my son. But as for the cowardly and untrustworthy and abominable and murderers, and those who whore and drug sorcerers and idolaters and all the false, their part is in the lake which burns with fire and sulphur, which is the second death. And one of the seven messengers who held the seven bowls, filled with the seven last plagues, came to me and spoke with me, saying, Come, I shall show you the bride, the Lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me the great city, the set-apart Yerushalayim, descending out of the heaven from Elohim, having the esteem of Elohim, and her light was like a most precious stone, like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and having a great and high wall, having twelve gates, and at the gates twelve messengers, and names written on them, which are those of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel, three gates on the east, three gates on the north, three gates on the south, and three gates on the west. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and on them were the names of the twelve emissaries of the Lamb. And he who spoke with me had a golden measuring rod, to measure the city and its gates and its wall. And the city lies four-cornered, and its length is as great as its breadth. And he measured the city with the rod, twelve thousand stadia, the length and the breadth and height of it are equal. And he measured its wall, hundred and forty-four forearms, according to the measure of a man, that is, of a messenger. And the structure of its wall was jasper, and the city was clean gold, like clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were adorned with all kinds of precious stones, the first foundation jasper, the second sapphire, the third agate, the fourth emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth ruby, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysoprase, the eleventh jacinth, and the twelfth amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls, each one of the gates was a single pearl, and the street of the city was clean gold, like transparent glass. And I saw no dwelling place in it, for Yahweh El Shaddai is its dwelling place, and the Lamb. And the city had no need of the sun, nor of the moon, to shine in it, for the esteem of Elohim lightened it, and the Lamb is its lamp. And the nations of those who are saved shall walk in its light, and the sovereigns of the earth bring their esteem into it, and its gates shall not be shut at all by day, for night shall not be there, and they shall bring the esteem and the appreciation of the nations into it, and they shall by no means enter into it whatever is unclean, neither anyone doing abomination and falsehood, but only those who are written in the Lamb's Book of Life.